Okay, well, this is a video that some of you probably didn't see coming and whatnot. When I have uh, been in my previous job, the last part of the year, um, you know, they were trying to work all through Christmas. There were a lot of public holidays and Christmas itself and stuff like that. Uh, they didn't really want to work on weekends, so we had a lot of times there where things were going rather slow and um, and that was that. I used to be able to get free Wi-Fi just around the corner from where I worked and there's another place that I commonly use for free Wi-Fi and I'd go past that place daily, probably twice a day actually. Um, and so I was never short of any real free internet. It became apparent though in the last days of this job where we were only working a few days a week uh, that I was sort of, uh, you know, check on this little device a little bit too much. And um, long story short, I realised that I was wasting hours on YouTube a day. And uh, it was fairly pointless. As some of you guys know, I have spent quite a bit of time fighting e-beggars. It's, it's been a long road. Early days, you know, you, you could count the people that would stand by you with all this on one hand, honestly. Things have changed now. The movement's a lot larger. Um, and a lot of people spend a lot of time fighting these e-beggars. Uh, and a lot of them, you know, after years of, of going like hell and not seeing any results, there's a lot of results starting to occur. If a new e-beggar comes on board, they are jumped on so colossally, their, their social media is just pummeled. And usually they give up before they really even get started. Uh, and surprised to say, there's even a case of one who was on there for quite a while and just threw the towel in on it all uh, out of all the uh, crap they received. It's quite a force to be reckoned with. Um, you know, back in the day it wasn't much, now it's something. There's someone who I consider a friend and uh, they're probably fairly pissed off with me at the moment. Um, I don't know if they even consider me a friend anymore. Um, you know, there was a bit of a disagreement over a situation uh, involving something and someone, and um, you know, I just, uh, you know, might have said a little bit too much, but. Uh, I don't always like seeing some people take a full blame for something that I believe they weren't fully responsible for. Um, long story short, this guy used to hang around a lot in the off-grid community and then he sort of moved in the RV community and I followed him. And evidently we eventually ended up uh, in what's known as the bottom of YouTube fighting a couple of e-beggars over there. If you don't know what the bottom of YouTube is, it's probably best you don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, <sighs> there are a lot of strange characters, many, I'm not saying all, I'm just saying many who don't hold a regular job, I'll put it like that. Quite a few who are Jerry Springer worthy material, if you get what I'm getting at. Um, and, uh, you know, I've had someone who's a uh, retired Texan lawyer, you know, he realised I was spending a lot of time messing around with one particular van dweller who's very close in age to what I am. This van dweller, you know, we can see him just wasting his life away. And e-begging and all that sort of stuff. 
and um, he told me that this this retired Texan lawyer told me that I'm wasting a lot of time on these idiots. And uh, long story short, I'd be better out working to, you know, build my future, earn money, get ready to build a new house with that money, or out looking for a wife or something like that, as opposed to, you know, mucking around with these idiots. Uh, he said to me basically that there's no point dealing with these e-beggars uh, because you've got televangelists out there in the United States raking in millions of dollars a year on the back of false hope and you know if, if you donate to my thing and we all pray together then you'll be healed of cancer and blah 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 and he said a lot of people have tried to stop these people and have failed and e big as a small fry and they are the small fry and you know you're wasting a lot of time with it there was another guy who you know I've been a hermit up until the end of 2004 and while I realize that I am not always terribly great with people I am shocked at times that I am actually better at relating to people at seeing the perspective of female viewers, of viewers of different age groups, different, you know, social groups, you know, and stuff like that, um, different political groups, I can often see the perspective they're coming from. Regardless of the fact that it's only been probably February 2005 where I really got to know how people worked and how people interacted. But this particular character, he lost the forest for the trees and decided that it, while well, he's fighting e beggars with one hand, he used the other hand to give money to an e beggar, one of the same e beggars that we're all fighting, the same blast van dweller I was saying about. The reality of the situation is, I could see it straight up from the get go, it was going to go bad for him. I could tell it when I heard the first rumours. And I was right, it went terrible for him. I later saw a little message that um, he sent me a lot of emails in those last times when it was falling to bits for him. And some of those were ones to hand on to everybody else. And one of them uh, that was come from someone else on behalf of him said that there's someone playing both sides and I felt like saying, yeah, it's you. But one of the things that he did point out in one of these last emails was that there's a lot of people, a lot of trolls who are wasting a lot of time dealing with these losers who are small fry, aren't getting anywhere and you'd be far better doing something constructive in your own life than just playing around and harassing some band dweller. And you know, there's there's plenty of people who that's their nightly entertainment. With me it's sort of long story short, I may sort of have a little bit of internet addiction or YouTube addiction, but on top of all that you sit back at the end of the week and you realise that some days you waste two or three day, uh, two or three hours a day pissing around on YouTube, dealing with people who, you know, are small fry, they aren't getting anywhere, they're wasting their life away, and they're going to cop the consequences of wasting their life away. You know, and who am I to try and dissuade them from that? It's a great, and I must admit, it, it is a great and worthy thing to fight e-beggars. But some of us, including this other guy, um, you know, have better things to do in their lives. And, uh, you know, some people were shocked when Nigel Farage, you know, left 
the UK Independence Party. But think about it, the guy spent years and years and years and years fighting towards a goal. He finally achieved that goal. After something like freaking 22 years, he achieved that goal. And then as a result, it was finished, it was done. And he sort of said, well, what am I continuing to, you know, fight for? I'd rather have a bit of a life back now. And so he decided that his job was done and it was time to move on. And, you know, there's been enough trolls built up and all that, and um, you know, enough of us have got together and created enough of a shitstorm that there's now a group out there that deals with these people. And I must say, you know, I've got other things that I've got to get on with and do. You know, I've had <laughs> three years that I've been pissing around looking for a wife. Okay, maybe it's only two and a bit years because this last year I sort of haven't really bothered much. Um, if there's one thing, you know, this is one thing with these uh, these e-beggars and all that, YouTube's my job. No, YouTube's a hobby. And that therein lies my main point, YouTube's a hobby. It's not something to waste hours a day on, not for me, because it doesn't achieve anything really for me. You know, I know you guys sometimes enjoy seeing how my garden's getting on or whatever, or lack of garden, which is another point that I realised there. I realised even when I buy all my food and buy good food, in the time I used to spend sitting on the shitter at my last job, that would earn me my food for that day to eat very good food. This is the thing. Gardens are also fun, but it's so easy just to go and buy the damn food anyway, you know. And um, at some of these things, you know, there's this. As I was saying, you know, I spent a lot of time. <laughs> I've seen somebody else try and find a girl on YouTube. It doesn't work like that. This guy had tens of thousands of subscribers and still does. At the end of the day, he ended up going to the Philippines and getting a male or a bride. Internet dating here is, if you're over the age of 40, it's actually fairly successful. If you're under the age of 40, you fall into a different generation and it's just, it's fairly bullshit. You know, I spent two and a half years on trying to find a girl on the internet. There was none to be found on YouTube. Yeah, I had female subscribers and all that, but... None of them are gonna. They're watching you for your videos, not because they're in love with you. And don't think you're gonna find any. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's, it's. I know of one case of where somebody has got to know someone through YouTube Hangouts and and then gone ahead and and you want to know the truth, they're actually transvestites. Um, but. Uh, Internet dating was a joke, and at two and a half years, I went on one bloody date. I spent hundreds of dollars on on internet dating site fees, on internet bills. I would spend two hours a night talking to actually one girl in one case, and later on another girl in another case. You spent two hours a night talking to these girls, and you know what? I never met either of them in person. What was the point? This is the thing, you know. Some of the things I've got to do is, is get married, is, is build a new house. There's a few other things that some of you guys know about and others of you don't, who, you know, things that I'm aiming to achieve. Um, and uh, this is the thing. In some of these things I'm trying to achieve, I've been told that, you know, some of these things you've got to, if you want to achieve more, you've got to sacrifice a few things, and one of the things that might be getting sacrificed is two hours a day on YouTube, you know, and uh, it wasn't always two hours a day, but too many times it was, and it would be checking this thing, you know, five or six times a day, and, and 
you know, you, you go and have a, a break to drink, to, you know, a cup of water in this hot weather and then next thing it turns into a uh, half hour plus of watching videos and stuff like that. And as much as some people enjoy some of my content, other people don't, I'm not actually achieving a great deal out of it. I'm not achieving anything for myself that's tangible. It's almost like putting on makeup. You put it on, it looks great, la di da di da. You wasted a bunch of time, you wasted a bit of money, and it was all great. And later on that night, you wipe it all off. But what do you got to show for it? You've got nothing to show for it except wasted time and wasted money, and you look good for five hours. It's the same sort of a concept. And um, I'm not leaving YouTube altogether, but. You know, there's some things that are just, if I want to get things done, other things have got to take priority. Uh, and, you know, with this latest squabble and some of these other ridiculous, because they're ridiculous. They're ridiculous. Especially dealing with the bottom of YouTube. It's, it's like meeting people on the show of Jerry Springer and then hanging around with them all the time. Why would you? It's a waste of time. A good deal of them don't have jobs. A good deal of them, no matter how much you tell them, what you tell them, how much you argue with them, they're not going to get jobs. And in all of this, I might as well be working another three hours at my job. And let's face it, I'd make 75 bucks working three hours at this job. I'd actually make more than that. you know. And, and this is the thing. I'm on the verge. I don't know if I'm on the verge, but... It looks as though I'm headed into getting another job, um, waiting for a call on that. I've sort of got a general ballpark area uh, that the job's going to be in. Um, I've got a suburb name, you know, and that. And, you know, there's some things that I better have time spent on those things. And so anyway, that's basically just what I was trying to say. Um, and uh, good luck to all of you guys. You know, I know you enjoy YouTube as a hobby. I do enjoy watching videos, but I've been watching too much. I've been spending too much time on talks like these, on frolicking around with, you know, showing your gardens grown or not grown or plum trees or fig trees or whatever, you know, and it's it's one of these things where it's the net gain I'm getting is jack shit. And um yeah, 